Greg Berhalter says he would like to continue as head coach of the U.S. senior men's national football team amid a probe into his conduct from an incident which happened in 1991. Back then, Berhalter reportedly kicked his girlfriend during a dispute. The incident happened when they were both teenagers and he married the girlfriend not long after. Berhalter has admitted that the incident did indeed occur, but he says he's sorry the story got out this way, noting it was his wife's story to tell. His words are a direct rebuke to Danielle Reyna, the wife of Berhalter's ex-USA teammate Claudio Reyna. Danielle is also the mother of G. Reyna, the Borussia Dortmund youngster, who was sparingly used by Berhalter at the recent Qatar World Cup. Danielle admitted that she was the one who reported Berhalter's past conduct to U.S. soccer. She said she did so because of what she felt was Berhalter's mistreatment of her son at the Qatar World Cup. Danielle admitted to being angered by comments made by Berhalter about a misbehaving member of the World Cup squad. Gio Reyna later shared with his social media followers that he was the player referenced by Berhalter. Danielle said she wanted U.S. soccer to know that Berhalter had, in the past, been guilty of a worse indiscretion than her son ever committed with the U.S. national team. Lance, this story has about 63 shades of Messi around mm. it, uh, Messi with the Y, and uh, uh, Greg Berhalter's reputation on the brink of being tattered. Daniel Reyna, Claudio Reyna have destroyed a lifelong friendship. Gio Reyna is probably going to be ostracized by his U.S. teammates, mm. and uh, it's all breaking loose in U.S. soccer. Yeah, real. A very, very disturbing story, this, George. By the way, Berhalta is very interested in renewing his contract or continuing on as coach of the national team. It'll be renewed because it ended last December. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he, he wants he wants, he wants, he he wants, wants, wants the opportunity he wants a job. He wants a job. to coach yeah. them into the 2026 yes. World Cup qualifying cycle, which, of course, CONCACAF is staging with the USA, Canada, and Mexico being hosts. But it is very disturbing that someone like Beerhalter, who has made a grave error as a, as a teenager, finds this story being, being uh, or resurfacing in the way that it, that it is given the fact that he is now married to his wife 25 years mm -hmm. and there is no evidence of uh, domestic violence between them now and he admitted that this happened i guess they were probably intoxicated because they were at a party that's what he said yeah and they mm -hmm. they, they were drinking and uh, obviously it was really wrong and bad and unforgivable at the time that it happened but this is 1991, George, mm -hmm. and um, it just seems like blackmail for the Rayner family to be coming out with this story at this time in the way that they have, which is hurting Berhalter's chances of continuing on or renewing his contract as a head coach. Yeah, there, there, there's, a, there's a word that, the, the, the best word, there's a one word that is best to describe the situation. There's a word, the word you, you know the word, the word is perfidic. Uh, you know, was it... Phyllis Dillon or Hortense Ellis, who sang Perfidia, may have been oh, Hortense, Hortense Ellis. Ellis, yes, yes uh, Alton Hortense. Ellis is uh, yes. kin, right. Perfidia, perfidic. Perfidic is a deliberate breach of trust. And the reason I've drawn for perfidic to describe the situation is mm. Daniel Reyna and Mrs. Berhalter are lifelong friends. They were friends from college days friends into adulthood and remained friends up to the point that this thing got nasty. Greg Berhalter and Claudio Reyna are best friends. Greg Berhalter was the best man at Claudio Reyna's wedding to Daniel. The families are very tight. Greg Berhalter does not pick Gio Reyna. He makes comments at what he thought was an off-the-record session. He was talking to a group of people. He spoke words that he felt would not be published. Those words were published. And while he didn't call any names, and he can hide behind the fact that he didn't call any names, Gio Reyna came out and said, well, I am the player. So pretty much, pretty soon we knew who he was talking about. And because Beralta did not pick Gio Reyna and said something which Reyna owned up to in public, and so people knew that Reyna was giving trouble in the U.S. camp, his mother and father sat and concocted a plan to say, look, if he's sinking our boy by not picking him and blighting his chances to put himself in Europe's shop window at the, the biggest stage in football, it's not the Champions League, it's the World Cup, 
we are going to sink him. We're going to write to Ernie Stewart at US Soccer, and we're going to tell them that this man kicked his wife as a teenager. Not giving any regard to the fact that the woman who they're going to bring into the spotlight is a best friend of the family. Yeah. Not giving any regard to the man that they're going to sink is a best friend of the family as well. Yeah. So they deliberately, they knew what they were doing, Lance. They knew that bridges would be burnt, but they didn't care because they had to get back something for what they felt was the unfair treatment to Giorena. If that is not prophetic, Lance, yes. then I'm stopped studying words. Yeah, well, yeah, I think it's a, it's a perfect choice of words, George, because um, this is a more than selfish behavior from the, the Reina family. And uh, I understand them being hurt that their son wasn't given the playing time from Berhalter as, as in the U.S. Um, Soccer Federation and their World Cup campaign. But I, for me, I wonder about how Reyna will now be embraced by the U.S. Soccer fraternity mm. going Which forward. one? Which one? Claudio or Gio? Or both of them? No, no I, no, I talking to the player, Reyna. Okay. Gio, Gio, G yeah. G the, the player. Gio Van, yeah. Yeah, Gio, because if he is seen to be to be getting playing time under a new coach because the Reina family is now hoping that Berhalter doesn't get the job again. Well, that's what their plan was to, to, to yes, achieve. Yes, yeah. which, which, which for, for them will give their son the mm -hmm. platform to get more playing time. I don't think that goes down well with the fans. Can't. Can't go down well with the fans. It can't. I know, I know but, but, but even so, remember now, what you say is so true because Andrew Hudson, who was Berhalter's second in command and who's now leading the team in the camp, the next time a U.S. team is assembled, and if he invites Giorena, well, if he doesn't invite Giorena, they'll be held to pay from the Reina family. <laughs> if he invites Giorena, people will be questioning, why have you invited this man to the, to the team now? If he doesn't play him, what you say could, for, could, 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 could be spun in another way to say, oh, well, here's Hudson punishing him for... Mm -hmm the issues that his mother caused around him. Yeah. And if he plays him, you're going to hear that, oh, he has yielded to pressure and he doesn't want any of the flag from the Reina family, yeah. so he's playing the boy. So U.S. soccer now, Lance, needs to lead and say, you know what? On, the fact is that, remember now, Greg Baralta thought that coming out of the World Cup and with his contract expiring in December, it has to come to a natural end and you discuss a new contract. Yes. Then he would just move seamlessly into those discussions and sign a new contract and carry on. Mm -hmm. But the fact is that this has stalled that process. Mm. U.S. soccer needs to come and say, for the time it takes us to investigate and to find and to recommend a course of action, Giovanni Reina cannot be invited to any national team. I would agree with that course of action because it's only fair. Yes. Because your situation, your parents and their vendetta and their blackmail has caused this man's employment to be stalled by an investigation. So I think it's only fair that they say, and take the pressure off Hudson as well. So Hudson doesn't have to invite him, Hudson doesn't have to play him, and he doesn't have that noise around yes. the team if he invites a team together to, for any game in the time that they are working out who will be the next head coach. Mm -hmm. I think that's only reasonable for US soccer to act now and do. Yeah, and, but this though, George, is another representation of how the world has changed. And I know there are instances where people have a history of uh, infractions that they, they should own up to and pay for, especially if it is something continuous yeah. or if it is something that they continue to be guilty of. But in this instance, the evidence we have is that something happened almost 30 years ago is, is I was going to say put under the carpet, but that does suggest as if it is still simmering in some way. Mm. The evidence we have is that he and his wife are fine. The woman forgave him. Yeah, he's fine. If the woman forgave him and married him, and yeah. he said... Because the, the kicking incident for, caused them to break up yeah. for a while. Yes. But they reconnected yeah. months later, yeah. and since then, things are... I think they have four children, George. Yeah, but yes, and, but, and it's but better than that. He yeah. said, and the woman, and, and the wife, rather, hasn't rebutted him. He said that when they broke up, she was the one who called him back. Mm. She called him back to say, look, I think we need to talk about this thing. Yeah. They got together. The families got together yeah. and they went past it yeah. and then they got married. Yeah. Yeah. So if the woman accepts, if the wife accepts him, I'm sorry, if the wife, if Mrs. Beralter accepted him, yes. who is Claudia and Daniel yeah. to be walking with that as, 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 as leverage in their pocket to use against the man? It's out of order, Lance. And it makes it worse because they've been best friends as it's a, as a family. out of order, Yes. Very, old very, very distasteful. Very, very distasteful story. And, and quite frankly, I, I don't want to hear too much from the Reinas again. No.
No, I, I'm not sure how they can re repair that damage. Personas non grata. <laughs> Break time. <laughs> Thank you for watching Sportsmax on YouTube. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and to click the notification bell to stay informed.